In Kanoan we only stayed one night before we went to Backway. Backway is a lovely island. Around 5,000 people live there on 7 square miles. In this nice surrounding we also used the time to do other jobs. Fixing the toilet once again. They scale up. And then you just have to get these pipes out. All of the hoses. All of the hoses. I'll show you the pipes. Okay, where are the pipes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not only nice jobs, but we've also got to take all the pipes out. After this work is done, we are making ice cream. Ice cream food. Yummy, yummy. Uh, it's so it's the pips are coming out. Of our ice cream plant. It's quite slimy. Back Bay is not only blessed with the superb nature harbour, also the white cedar was growing fair, used in construction and to build trading vessels. So we are on the Mount Peggy. The highest point of the island, Pequay. And the view is amazing. Here you can see the airport. In this direction, there's the Friendship Bay. Back there. There is somewhere our boat. To sign in, we had to go to the Barnacle Bay, where we went with the dinghy. Back in Cumberland Bay, we went for the village and up the valley. This is the wooden pipe that feeds the hydroelectric power station and it's at least 400 meters long and it's made just the same as you'd make a beer barrel. And a little lizard here. He's just here's the connection to a steel pipe which goes into this direction. First leak I discovered On the way back, we went for the village again and joined the party. <laughs> After some rum punches and some beers, we left the party and enjoyed a relaxing evening on the boat. However, suddenly a lot of shouting was going on as a group of tuners found a way in the bay. However, most of the locals have been drunk <laughs> and still drinking at the party. Philip also decided to try his luck. Next morning we continue our sail to St. Lucia. So here goes. St. Lucia goes up. 
good. Headscarves. Headscarves. Yep. It's just much with, cheaper instead of... With hand carved muggles. <laughs> About a kilometre off the southwest corner of St Martin, there is an island called Diamond Rock. During the Napoleonic Wars, the British landed on this island, put a gum battery on the top, and commissioned it as a frigate in the Navy. Napoleon was so enraged by this, he sent a flotilla the whole way from Europe to kick the British off. We are in a lovely little bay. Husband is already relaxing. And where are we, husband? We're in uh, Petit Saint Anne on Martinique. Okay. Now he is enjoying his glass of red wine. But the sun I will. Is going down, Sunset. Oh, well, it takes still half an hour. The frigate birds are hassling the fishermen. <laughs> you can see how big the frigate birds are next uh -huh. to the fishermen, actually. Yes, you can see. They're as big as, bigger than the fishermen. And here we just saw some goats actually what? hanging on the wall. <laughs> hanging on the edge of the cliff. Hanging on the edge of the cliff. And the sun is going down. Husband is here. Put it on your bloody legs. No! <laughs> 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 